Welcome to this Flipdish tutorial. Today we're going to look at creating and viewing vouchers. In order to create a discount voucher of any type, you will need to go to the Flipdish portal. From here you'll see a vouchers tab on the left hand side menu. This screen will allow you to see all the ongoing vouchers for your store to date. At the top of the page there's a small checkbox named show generated vouchers. Ticking this box will allow you to view all voucher details for those that have been automatically created for loyalty campaigns. For more information on loyalty and retention campaigns, please see the description of this video or search for loyalty and campaign management. As you can see also at the top of the page, there's a filter option. Here you can type in a code, a type or a status to find a particular voucher you might be interested in. First, let's look at creating new vouchers. On the bottom right hand side of your voucher screen, there will be a pink add new button. Selecting this will allow you to create any type of voucher you wish for your store. Your first decision when selecting this option will be deciding whether you want your new voucher to be a percentage discount or a lump discount. Percentage will allow you to give a percentage off an order, for example, 20% off any order, while lump will allow you to deduct specific values, for example, five euro, dollars or pounds. Upon selecting your voucher style, you will then be able to alter the specifics of your voucher. Let's have a look at the following sections. Stores. If you have access to multiple stores on your portal, your first option will be to select which store that this voucher will apply to. The next option is voucher code. This will be the code that your customers will input in order to avail of the voucher. Description. This is what exactly the code is or is for. This section is entirely optional. Then you'll need to select amount, either the percentage or flat value that the voucher will discount. Voucher is valid. These are the dates wherein the voucher can be redeemed. You can also select from here that the voucher will never expire automatically apply. If this toggle is turned on, the created voucher will automatically apply to every single order that it is valid on without the need for the customer to input your code. If it is off, the code will need to be input manually. The next section is vouchers can be used. Your options in this dropdown are on any order, can be used in every single online order assuming individuals know the code, once only, the created code can only be used on one order ever and then will be disabled, once per customer on their first order only, and once per customer. The code will track the individual's account and can only ever be used once per person. At the bottom of the vouchers options screen, there is an advanced options tab. Let's have a look at some of the options. Takes priority. This toggle will allow you to decide which voucher is automatically applied ahead of the other. For example, if a customer qualifies for both a 20% off the first order voucher and a 20% off January sale voucher, and they both automatically apply, the one which is toggled on will be applied and the other will be removed. Voucher is valid on orders over. Here you can select the lowest price which your voucher will apply. For example, if you wanted your 25% voucher to apply on orders over 20 euro, you would put 20 euro in this section. Include delivery fee. This toggle will allow you to decide if the voucher is to be applied to the total, including the delivery fee or not. The voucher is valid for. Here you have access to two dropdowns in which you can choose what is included or excluded from the voucher's application. For example, collection, delivery, cash or card, whichever options you select here is what the voucher is permitted to apply to. Once you're happy with all these settings, just click create and enable at the bottom of the page. You can also click the button beside this, which is just create, meaning that your voucher won't yet be enabled and you can come back and edit it later. Once your voucher is created and enabled, you'll be taken back to the vouchers page. Here you'll be able to see the new voucher you just created. And as you can see, based on the dates that we chose, it is not yet valid. You can very easily edit any of these vouchers by simply clicking on the voucher you'd like to edit. This page will also give you some key insights into the voucher and its performance. Information like, when the voucher will expire, how many customers have used it, the total order amount of customers who use this voucher, the total amount that was discounted, the total amount of times that the voucher was used, and the average order size. Below this, you'll be able to see a graph of when the voucher was used. If you want to disable this voucher, simply click the disable button in the top right hand corner. And that's it. That's all you need to know about creating a voucher for your store. You can display your voucher codes in store, on flyers, on your website, or whichever way you see fit to advertise these codes. If you do need any help setting up a voucher, you can contact us at help at fliptish.com. Thanks for watching.